Today you will find us in Wading River, Long Island to check out Pazzo Restaurante. The establishment was recommended by Erica Marcus of Newsday. She said to go and get the Chicago style deep dish and caramelized cheese. So here we are. Well, you brought us in here. We're ready. <laughs> Hopefully they're ready too. Yeah, I hope so too. We'll see. Ready? Yeah. That's him. We're waiting for him. Right. You forgot me already? So we're going to start off with some salad now. Which salad did you get? Spinach. Spinach. Spinach salad with warm artichoke and red roasted pepper with feta cheese. It looks good. It's fantastic. Okay. About 10 more minutes serve that order, please, okay? All right. This is the... This has got to be honey sriracha, right? Yep. Yep. That's the next one, the margarita, I believe. Next yep. one is the margarita. Margarita yes. grata. That looks good. Wanna try the, the, the traditional one first? Okay. That's my crap. You can see the charring. It smells good. It's another basil. That's crisp. Not as crispy as it could be. Good pull on the uh, mozzarella, right? right? Not greasy at all. Nope. How it should be, right? Yeah. Sauce is good. Very simple stuff. Sauce not that sweet. Strawberry. Mix it well. Blends well. This part of this crust is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just in, it's just saying, see what, how it's cooked in the middle. This one has a little semolina dusted on top, on the bottom. This one here, honey sriracha with Mike's hot honey, ricotta cheese, and mozzarella. The ones you're making them up. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Can you get comfortable? Okay. There you go. Yeah. You see? Yeah, that sounds perfect. I'm going to ask that the wife. This one is honey sriracha with Mike's hot honey. Okay. We're going to cheese and mozzarella. Okay, thank you. I'm like, looks so good. What is that? Please. Yeah. Well, oh, that's that's interesting. Oh, hey, I feel the kick to it. Did you try a piece, Did you learn about this place from Newsday, or? Yeah. yeah. That's why yeah. we're here, too. Yeah. <laughs> Our way through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been in a couple okay. places that uh, Erica Marcus re recommended. Okay. Yeah, we were, so when he has a soccer game, I look at the list mm. and I go, let's see, is one of the places here? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think that's a must. Combination is uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I honestly like that way. Completely different from the margarita, different flavor. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, the creaminess of the ricotta. 
the pull from the cheese mozzarella. And the spiciness, still a slight hint of spiciness from the uh, hot honey. Good. What do you think? It's good. Too much cheese for you? Yeah, it's sweeter, but not so sweet that it's like a like candy. So I was watching them. We were in the Chinese grocery store down there yesterday, actually, and they had the milk tea. Yeah. One of them had 112% of your daily allowance for the sugar. <laughs> I could One hundred twenty percent. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Pretty productive. It's different. Yeah. I wonder what the uh, short one would be like. All right. You want to score this one? Let's score a margarita. Mark. Mark. <laughs> I'd say. Um, Style that I like. Uh, with this rice. And the, I think this piece was just perfect for me. The added burrata on the pizza was fantastic. So I'm gonna go eight four. Eight four. That's a high score. That's a high score. I I don't have to get behind eight four. Eight four. How about you, Ike? No, Irene doesn't like it. All right. Uh, no score for Irene. No, no score for Irene. She'll she'll write in. Good, good, bad. Good, bad. Good? Right, good, she says it's good. Actually, I'm gonna give that one, I'm sorry. Um, seven, eight. Only, uh, and the reason being is because uh, I think maybe the, the middle part of the crust is a little too too, uh, too soggy for me. But the back, once you get to the back, it's really good. What? What do you want about this one? Okay, Mark. The honey slice. Again? Yeah. I've never seen it anywhere else. It's unique, right? Um, again, the crisp. Fantastic. This one held up a little bit better. The, the combination of the cup of cheese. More heavy pies. You have this. Unbelievably great. I'm gonna go 8.2. 8.2. 8.2. I'll give that one. Because of the uniqueness, of course, the crust held up a little bit better. Combination of sweetness. It's a white pie, basically. It's basically a white pie with honey on top. I'll give it a uh, 8.1. First one. Now we're waiting for the Chicago style, Detroit, whatever style. And it takes two hours to prep. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Thank you. Holy cow. Can you? Okay, sure, I do. Wow. Wow. All right. Did he? Oh, we didn't take a spatula. You gotta pay to take a spatula. Yeah, I know. And pull one out. Oh, we get, oh there we go. <laughs> she knew. Yeah, we knew. Thank you. She heard you. Please enjoy. Thank you. Pull it out. Pull one out. You gotta look at that. Still stuck? We got the corner right there. Yeah. I saw it. I didn't see it. I said, it's a lot. It was like, you guys can't see Look how airy that is. I mean, right? how much? Sit up and he's like, Yeah, you gotta. There you go. I can see it falling, falling out to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Wow, look at that. Two hours to make. Oh, you're gonna. Yeah. All right, thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. We're here. I think we get a knife and a fork for this one. No, you can't. I don't yes, know. Can. This? Look how eerie this is, all right? Yeah. The raised. I wonder how long it they, they left it in there. You gotta ask him how long it permits. Seven pies. Different style. Seven pies. So you think that this is real from the cheese? I don't know, yeah. I do.
So it's upside down, got cheese on the bottom, sauce on top. Just like a Chicago style, right? Yep. Just like Loom the Lettuce. Meat in there? Nope. Really good. Oh, right, Mark. You have one more than one bite. It's different though. Wow, oh, that's different, right? Not my usual favorite. I've only had Chicago pizza once. Um, I like the sweetness of the sauce. The dough is really done real well. But I'm gonna say I'll probably eat. Wow! I'm going 8.0. Wow! Yep. I enjoyed it. 8.0, nice and even. I appreciate the time that they took to prepare it. I'll give you props for that. Takes a while to make, right? Takes a while to make. Would I go out of my way to come back for this? Maybe if I have brought, invited some friends, try something different. Because we're not in Chicago. <laughs> Somebody's got to come up with a Long Island version of a pizza. But for me, I want to give it a uh, 7.2 because it, it's, it's a lot of, it's just a lot for pizza. Much bigger than Sicilian. Yeah, it's bigger, it's heavier than Sicilian. Right. Bigger than Sicilian, bigger than Grandma. Just seeing you know, the crust. It is a lot. Yeah. By itself. Right. Now, I, don't, I don't think I have another slice. So thinking about this pizza, and you know, Mark and I like steak. I would have to say this is the porterhouse of pizza because how substantial it is. It's like eating steak for two, but pizza for two. But this is like, you know, I don't know. It's like the six slices is pizza for six people. And think about the price. How much was it? $22.95. You get steak for two, it's like $100. Right? So, enjoy. It's a good place. All right.